I love those J-I-N-G-L-E bells. Oh, those holiday J-I-N-G-L-E bells. Oh. Hello, and welcome back. It's the holidays, and a lot of people are going to be traveling. Um, if you're traveling on an airplane, you know, it could be really stressful, uh, you know. Back in the old days, they used to give you a free drink on board. Um, now they charge you $10 for something like this that you pay 99 cents for in the liquor store. Um, you can't carry the flasks on board anymore. You know, we live in an age of terrorism. Even the size of the mouthwash you use is limited. Um, but these are legal to take on board. And um, the reason why you might want to do that is because, you know, again, Travel is stressful. You just want to drink. You don't want to pay $10 for something that costs 99 cents. Um, and again, these are legal. They're sealed. You put them in a plastic bag. Of course, any airline for any reason at any time could deny you the right to do that. But I think if you just get a soda and you discreetly just crack one of these and pour one in, nobody's going to say anything to you. Um, they sell these little mixers too, so if you wanted a, something like a margarita or a mixed drink, very, very easy to do. Want to get a little bit fancier and you like your single malt scotches? Um, these things are great. These are, what are they, 100 milliliters each. These are 50 milliliters, and I think the rule is, um, I'm not sure if it's 100 milliliters or 150. Again, any airline could deny you the right to do anything for any reason. It's their house, so to speak. It's, even if it's legal, you still have to abide by what they say because, you know, um, we see what happens on the airlines all the time. People getting thrown off and, and this, that, and the other thing, and you don't want a, a major uh, federal lawsuit on your hands. But these things are great. You buy one of these, and this is like $25. You buy one of these, and you get four different kinds, um, and it's, it's enough. Uh, you know, for one drink. One bottle should be enough to satisfy you. Um, if you are traveling and you know where you're going over families, in-laws, whatever, they don't have the same taste as you or they don't drink or they think they're a good idea of a wine is <laughs> something you wouldn't wash your feet in, buy one of these. You know, buy one of these and, you know, you offer it to them. You say, hey, listen, I brought this along. Why don't we all enjoy it? Or you just take it, uh, you know, if you're traveling for the holidays for business, um, these things, again, for $25, you're getting four of these. It's a lot less expensive than what you buy in the mini bar. Um, and you have your choice. You buy what you like. Um, far more economical. And it's not even about the money. It's about just drinking something you enjoy and not being forced to, to pay triple or, or quadruple for, for some, some quality stuff that, you, again, you wouldn't wash your feet in. So go to the liquor store. They got plenty of options. Um, safe travels. If you're driving, don't even think about drinking. Uh, like Dean Martin said, if you drink, don't drive, don't even putt. And it's true. I mean, there's just so much going on out there. You really got to be alert. But if you're in home, if your car's in the driveway, you're taking a plane or a train or a bus, you know, a few of these in, in your, in your um, toiletry bag where you keep your razors and, and your shave cream and your mouthwash, stick one or two of these in there. You'll be happy you did rather than go out and spend quadruple what you normally would spend. Happy holidays. Bells. See you soon. Oh, those happy J-I-N-G-L-E 